Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the month of August. I know half of the August is gone. I've been stuck with some unforeseen events in life and I am yet still very much committed to finish my monthly map spread guys please remember these are general readings times fluid and energies can be reversed if you are here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you so very much welcome back saggies the flow is absolutely fantastic let us see what the monthly map is gonna show us this started in june this particular spread and we basically looking into the month from a wider lens and see how the energies are interacting with each other let us go we are ready let's see from where we are starting for my saggy spirit for my sagittarius Page of Water and King of Air. You're starting something new, something which we are at a very initial stage. Something to do with our emotions as well. This could be for some people a new relationship as well. Though it seems like there's something that needs more of heart where you are putting more of brain that's how it feels sagis let us see who is this king of air is this us is this someone else very very cutthroat energy right here 10 of air this is letting go letting go of past baggage letting go of past energies something that was holding you back that's how you are doing this restart again six of waters lots of water on one side here wow two very strong energies here king of earth king of air truth and responsibility hmm with the six of waters this still has a little bit of nostalgia probably you need to let go of this continuous what if that keeps coming in because you want to have this new start or probably this new start is there in life already this king of air is your higher self telling you you need to let go of this what if take responsibility of whatever that decision that was taken by you and get some grounding here you cannot sail in two boats at the same time i hear hmm. what are we doing sagis what are we doing messenger of water ten of earth my god so much of water on one side ten of earth is by the way good news this is success in whatever this new beginning that is coming in is concerned we definitely need to come face to face with our emotions we definitely need to confront this what if this is keeping us in some ways from letting go if it's in the past let it be in the past eight of fire finally a fire card you coming in probably you're gonna talk to somebody about this let us get all the cards and then start clarifying very very intrigued as to what the clarifiers are gonna be look 
Once you come face to face with your emotions, confront them, you are headed towards peaceful times. You're going to make peace with the past. Got to make peace with the past so you can move further. And for that, you need to talk. Because whatever this newness that's coming in is going to bring in quite a lot of happy wives, actually. Not just abundance and wealth or whatever, but truly happy wives in complete sense. Give me some for the six of air moving towards peace. Yeah, you are going to be at the crossroads of moving ahead and your inner light is what is going to keep your path lit up. Show you the path. You're almost on the edge. You do not know what is there new awaiting you. Yeah. Well, that's the fun of life, isn't it? Once we make peace with the past, we would be opening energetic doorways for us. Pisces. Pisces? Saggies. Ooh, do we have any Pisces lined up? Probably there's just so much of water. Were you dealing with a water sign? Maybe Pisces? Why did I say Pisces? Ooh, I don't know. No, maybe somebody is actually dealing with a Pisces. Let us see what is going on on the other side of this spectrum. Eight of fire, spirit. Eight of fire. Okay, you want to come? What are you? Queen of water. Look. This queen has her emotions very, very well tamed. And not suppress, I'm saying. She is in control of her heart. She is in control of her impulses. She is in tune with her feelings. And she knows who she is. She's loving, she's compassionate. But don't get fooled by that. She is a queen. She is strong. Just because you are emotional does not mean you're weak, Sagis. This is finally getting to terms. Knowing that it takes a lot of strength to make peace with the past. To come to this zen-like state when it comes to your feelings and emotion. One last please. For my Sagis. Nine of waters. Look at that. Beautiful. So much of water here. So unlike fire sign. Nine of waters. Your wish fulfillment. Finally moving on. Probably that's what you wished for. Or that is what you've been working on. Moving on. All right. Hermit. Introspection. Lots of thinking going on and you are asked clear thinking. Don't fog your head by the past. We got to take responsibility, people. Good things are going to happen, Sagis, clearly. I see nine of waters, ten of earth. Good things are going to happen as soon as we are done with this what if. We got to do this confrontation. We got to face our emotions, face our fears, I hear. Whether it is the FOMO that we are talking about for some people, no? Fear of missing out. Whether it is the fear of if you let go, you're going to let go of a part of you, no? It's your own experience. You're not going to be able to even if you want to. Simple as that. But we need to make peace with it. Page of water, spirit. Please clarify 
the page of water what is this new learning new energy coming our way peace yeah time out four of swords newness is coming in and that is in some way giving us some sense of peace and relief and a break from all this craziness that has been happening there is someone i am connecting to who's been through a lot of emotional turmoil and there is a fresh air around there is some newness that is this could be something that you are doing that is bringing you a lot of peace or someone that you are connecting with uh you know who's not very judgmental who doesn't care what your past is who's just happy to be with you you enjoy someone's company the king of air high priestess look this is your higher self telling to keep away i'm telling you this is what i said earlier this is your higher self telling you do not fog your thinking by the past don't let the past overcrowd your psyche your brain your heart ten of air what is this that my sagis need to let go ten of air please clarify there's some energy some thought some emotion some feeling some heaviness that need to be let go to be gone something from the past that you thought is your dream come true there are new dreams to come true look nine of cups coming in again maybe whatever was in the past was not look six of swords yeah moving on from the thought of you know that was it if it isn't there is going to be something else that's going to be it. Clearly, that is what the spirit is telling you. Like, that was not it. And your life has not come to an end. So, make peace with it and move, people. We have six, six. And there was another six. Six right here. Six, six, six is all about introspection. It's all about looking into how we have been thinking and changing it for our own sake this is self-realization what do we have page of swords this is look with the six of cups page of swords and the next being messenger of water this is really standing in your truth not fooling yourself with the nostalgia okay yeah nostalgia is there sure the emotions were involved yes investment was done emotional investment was done but we gotta look at it objectively with the whole thing needs to be looked into very very objectively messenger of water messenger of water why do we have messenger of water what is it that we need to face how are we gonna do that spirit Please clarify. By staying focused on the objectivity and how we were responsible in whatever this was, whether we were head over heels, whether we were impulsive, whether it was our naive enthusiasm or optimism that, you know, everything's gonna be okay, everything's gonna be all right, everything's gonna be a better than all right. That's you, Saji. That might not be someone else okay so staying focused on being objective and then confronting what has been holding you back and making peace with it wow the flow is amazing i'm just not able to go towards the king of look six of pentacles we have six 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 please look into that angel number there is a message for someone there for sure we have the six of pentacles that is bringing balance that is bringing peace once you look at things objectively come face to face with whatever suppressed emotions that you have had that is when this calmness is gonna come 
in the picture in the scene now let's go to the king of earth who is this king of earth spirit why do we have the king of earth here look beautiful Three of pentacles and six of wands. Three of pentacles is working through things and having help around this eight of fire is where I'm taken to talking to someone, whether it's your inner self, your higher self or someone. And six of wands is being successful in whatever you are trying to achieve by putting in this effort, wherever you are putting in this effort. It is going to succeed. You are going to succeed in achieving that. Right now, it clearly seems like this is making peace with the past. And you're working through it. You need to ground yourself. Probably by working through this, that is how you're going to succeed in grounding yourself and taking the responsibility. Your part, whatever you played, you need to also take that up. Whatever that was... As I said, whether it is it was your naive optimism, whether it was you missing the red flags, let's put it that way, whether it was you not matching up to the emotional quotient, whatever it is that you feel that you have not yet addressed, need to be addressed. Ten of Earth, that is very, very good sign with six of wands coming in with a three of pentacles that you are working through things and you're going to succeed in that five of swords someone is not happy about you finally succeeding this is not your energy please give me one more for this five of swords Empress, clearly, you are on the verge of creating something that is going to not only bring you wealth, as I said, it's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment, really very happy, satisfying, fulfilling vibe that is coming your way. This is the divine feminine blessing you right now. So beautifully with empress and ten of earth coming in but there is a hurdle someone's energy is here who's not very happy to see it and might try and create obstacles but you do not need to engage yourself i hear do not engage yourself with this energy eight of fire spirit Six of Cups, Nostalgia. Guys, six is your number here. We have five times six. And Eight of Swords, this is being stuck in the past. And King of Cups coming right before the Queen of Cups. This is dealing with your emotions. This is facing them. This is sitting there and taking the responsibility of that. All of that. The whole being stuck in the past is because we are not taking that responsibility look for the queen of waters we have the hangman and the king of swords that clarity king of swords coming in twice we need to be extremely extremely objective about this look at things from a different perspective this is looking at whatever that we have been dealing in the past that we have not you know come to terms with from an angle that we have not yet looked into things that we have not yet addressed this limbo that we have been stuck in we need to address this limbo with this level of clarity this is a very no nonsense vibe this is a very no nonsense energy and this is how we need to deal with this is not being impulsive this is being responsible about your heart and your emotions and your feelings two of fire two of fire spirit 
Nine of Pentacles, look, you will be free, free from this baggage. You will be free from this emotional load. You will be, ooh, sorry. You will be all set for this new path once you come to terms. And this is where your real dreams lie for you to make them come true nine of waters look dropping that burden ten of air ten of swords this coming twice wow yeah that is look the, the combination here this is nine of cups with the ten of swords this is nine of cups with the ten of swords that is making peace with the past and moving forward to the future and that is where your dreams lie judgment this is wrapping up this is something coming to an end this is doing that introspection and closing the chapter from the past that is holding you energetically and not letting you be at peace with whatever this newness is coming in wow sajis move forward is what i hear let the past be in the past let us get you the last card for this spread the guidance message from the yogic path oracle deck final word for my sagis we have ganesha ganesha so beautiful this is how we start everything auspicious everything that is going to bring in good luck, prosperity. This is how we here in India start by worshipping Lord Ganesha. Dharana and Sahasrara. That's your crown chakra. That's you being in tune with your higher self. Wow, beautiful. Let us start with Ganesha. What a beautiful way to start. Wow. Or wrap up for that matter. <laughs> God of new beginnings and remover of obstacles. You are at the beginning of a new venture. That is going to bring you great joy and success. Wow. I love this. Thank you so very much for reconfirming this spirit. Ganesha has been removing the roadblocks placed before you, granting you a smooth transition into this very moment. These roadblocks do not exist outside of you. However, they are the vrittis, fluctuations of mind, represented by his vehicle, the mouse. When you calm your wavering mind, you are able to overcome any obstacle. Ganesha will continue to bring you good luck, success, and harmony with the sweets of Ananda, the awareness of your true consciousness as bliss. How beautiful. Dharana. Let's go to Dharana now. This is all about what I feel just looking at the card is making up your mind, being at peace with yourself, having the vision staying focused as well because it's the third eye that is you know somewhere in your subconscious that's working all right let's see what it actually has to say it is time to focus your mind on one goal to undergo the transformation that comes from concentration where is my eight of pentacles right here Confronting your emotions and focusing on that and facing your feelings and moving on. The birthing process of an idea takes deep commitment to usher it to life. Through single focused commitment, you will be able to deepen your understanding of your goal and from its core, bring it to fruition. This is your time to say no to everything that is not related to your dharma. Practice dharana and focus on what it is you came to this earth to do. And that is where you are going to head to your dreams being fulfilled. But first we need to know what are 
actual dreams are or purpose is not just frivolous desires okay let us go to sahasrara crown chakra you may have noticed intuitive rushes of creative wisdom channeling through you lighting up your every cell that is called a download and it is a message from the divine selected to come to you because you have the potential to birth it on this planet you know that gut feeling or something that keeps popping in front of you again and again some synchronicity that makes somehow to the logical mind to the 3d mind no sense something that is popping in front of you in your dreams some kind of a message that is coming to you pay attention to all these subtle messages these are downloads for you these downloads occur when your crown chakra is open which may only be a few seconds but is enough to illuminate a path that you never knew possible find what brings you to this channeling state and bring yourself there as much as possible whether it is through meditation walking in nature singing or writing the absence of the mind allows the genius of the divine beautiful those intuitive hits chose you now it is your time to birth them to life now it is time for you to focus on the purpose of life not just the desire and on that very very beautiful note sajis i'm going to take your leave i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods